Well, what we have right here is this is one of our motor graders that we use out in the training center. And uh, we're using it mostly just as a visual display. We're not going to actually use it in, the in this area. And we've got a couple other pieces of equipment that uh, Altarf were brought in. And over here we have our uh, uh, video displays that we have. And uh, the one is showing our actual training facility, which is uh, last year's training. Uh, it shows uh, we used a drone to take capture pictures of our training, which includes our dozers and backhoes. Uh, we have cranes, which I'm a crane instructor. Uh, we had lattice boom cranes and hydraulic cranes and uh, uh, small rough terrain cranes and uh, uh, the like. So it's kind of a representation of what we do during our uh, training. And the other one, uh, the other screen you see is uh, our screen that tells about our organization and our apprenticeship program and how you can uh, be part of that if you uh, follow our guidelines for our apprenticeship uh, training. Uh, the other thing we have over here is a uh, audio video display for a uh, for a backhoe, actually a track excavator, and it's a, a computer type uh, program where you can sit in the seat and simulate running a track hoe. And that's pretty much uh, what we have here. We also have our uh, uh, guidelines for uh, if you wanted to apply for the apprenticeship program, and, uh, and we try to explain to potential apprentices uh, what that would entail. Uh, actually, he let me try the little uh, virtual test to see how I could do as far as operating the uh, equipment. It was pretty good, you know, I, for, it was my first time, so I was a little nervous, but he told me that I did okay with it, and I kind of like it. Definitely something I'm very interested in. Hopefully, I'll get opportunity to see if I can actually do it. Use a tempering valve like this one here to take that water that could potentially be 170 degrees. You temper it down to 130 for your showers. Uh, keep it about 170. You can run it through your floor and heat your home. Uh, this trailer behind me is our green technologies trailer and it also uh, highlighting some of the HVAC troubleshooting training that we do at our local. Uh, here we're highlighting the green technologies, uh, water conservation, energy conservation, uh, high efficiency heating and air conditioning systems, uh, geothermal, uh, water reclamation, rainwater collection, uh, that type of thing. Uh, here you see the wiring trainers that we use, uh, teaching our students about uh, electricity and the troubleshooting that goes along with that. Uh, for our refrigeration and HVAC mechanics, about 70% of what we do troubleshooting wise is electrical in nature, so uh, we have to train them pretty good. Uh, we also have in our next booth down here uh, demonstrations on our welding and our plumbing, uh, along with brazing and anything having to do with something in a pipe, we can take care of it and take care of all of your needs. What kind of response have you got from the students that's come from here? Uh, been a little bit varied. There have been some. Some of the girls don't want to get too much involved in the plumbing trade. Uh, but there has been a lot of good response. Um, a lot of them are looking at alternatives to um, a college education and the expense involved. Uh, with the apprenticeship program, um, a lot of them are attracted to it uh, because they don't have to pay to go to school. The apprenticeship program, uh, the training is part of your job, so you are learning while you are learning. And the more you learn, the more you earn.